Well, welcoming communities is all about raising awareness and raising the bar in our community as to how welcoming we can be for newcomer Canadians. And this was an opportunity to match some newcomers with some local artists to really have a look at their stories and understand that they are very much like us with the same dreams and the same desires and that we're all more alike than we are different. Coming here, settling in a new country, it can be a traumatic experience, but it can also be really beautiful. Uh, and I think a lot of the work captures their experience, both the difficult and and the what's really stunning to me and what's really uh, emotionally profound for them. But the needs for people are on a very human level, like they need community and they need people to reach out to and they need a support system of, of different kinds and I think the artworks help reveal that a little bit more. When Summerland artist Margot Stoltz was paired with Rosemary Cargill, she found that her life's journey from Jamaica was both physical and spiritual. Being in Canada inspires me, the landscape, as well as a lot of the creation myth stories from First Nations people. So the raven is in there. There's a lot of stories about raven, and the waterfalls and the trees. And the original um, name for Jamaica that, that Rosemary told me about is Kamaika. And that actually means a land of wood and water. And I found that just beautiful. So I tried to connect the two pieces in that way because we're, Canada's all about wood and water too. So. Canadians are willing and open to newcomers. They're here for us from different parts of the world like Vietnam, India, and represented Jamaica. We have a participant from Uganda. We have as far as Russia, um, Ukraine is in there as well. A lot of people leave really incredible things back in their home country um, and sometimes it's for difficult reasons, difficult regimes, financial or employment situations, they feel the need to start somewhere else. But that's not to say that there weren't wonderful things there in their home country, which are often arts-based, architecture, music, very familiar things that have existed in their families for sometimes centuries. And then to come here and to leave all that behind, people try to bring tiny little pieces of it with them. And this, I think, is a way to really expand on that the things that were so profound and so familiar to them, it's a way of showing it to everyone, a broader view of who they are when they come here and what they have to offer to us in terms of community and culture and richness and vibrancy.